welcome back everyone, it's Kirok here with another episode from the Cranky Craft server. Glad for you to join me again, and on this episode, we're going to be working on the Ender Farm. So I got uh, uh, Voodoo's on today, and there he is, and uh, he's going to be popping over to bring some materials to help out with the build. <coughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of things that I'm going to need. So I got a whole bunch of stone bricks, some iron... Uh, let's put that chest away. I'll grab a couple of stacks. Stone bricks. Yep. <laughs> so he's grabbing some materials as well. Um, that's the last of... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I did a whole bunch. Yes. There we go. So I grabbed a bunch of the cobble that I had left over from the slime farm and uh, turned it into smooth stone and then of course from smooth stone I can make uh, <coughs> the stone bricks as well grab the rest yeah so I'm basically gonna end up going over there and start working on the enderman farm um, I saw, I already had gone there, or ha have gone there, and, and saw that, um, someone began building the bridge that goes out, and you can see I did some caving, I replenished my iron stock, I am gonna have to bring some of this over, so I may make a couple of trips back and forth, set up a little shop at the other end, <laughs> okay, cool, I just did that, <coughs> but it will help. Okay, cool. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go over there and um, set up a small little shop and work away. Oh yes, one other thing. I uh, logged in and found this. I'll leave some stone for repairs. Cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah, congrats, contest winner. Awesome. So apparently when he did the uh, fortune pick at all, on all those diamond ores, um, I came closest to the pick and and this is what he gave me as my prize which is awesome my uh, inventory is full so I'm gonna leave it here but thank you very much awesome I'm so happy that I guessed it closest uh, other people had guessed but they were they were further off than my guess oh yes and uh, uh, Asher suggested I put the stairs back in but leave the uh, half slabs around the portal and I did that and I think this is probably the best look that it actually gave me so far so I'm gonna keep it this way <clears throat> okay guys so here we are at the end um, since we last came here and uh, killed Betty uh, this whole area on the top here had been destroyed by the dragon I see that someone has taken the time to fix it back up again um, in that direction over there is the uh, fountain or the uh, portal that leads back to the overworld and in this direction over here, um, someone has already gone ahead and made a bridge that's supposed to go out to the actual um, platform where we're going to set up the Enderman trap. Uh, it was about, ooh, I don't know, 250 blocks away. I went an extra 50 or so, so I'm at 300 blocks away. So I did that already, and then I covered up the top of these blocks. As you can see, there are blocks underneath there. Um, with half slabs to prevent Enderman from spawning on it. Now my intention is to make it three wide, which is why I did this. Then I'll probably have to strip away the center layer uh, to make rails that go all the way to the end there. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the, the end of it right now. So, <clears throat> you know, it's just a straight forward long platform. And at the end of it, I've uh, kind of made a, a small little flange, which is where I'm going to build the, pa the, the actual uh, platform on which the trap will rest. Mm, that reminds me, I need a bucket of water in order to get below the platform level. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a few trips back and forth, uh, stock up this area, and as I said, build a little uh, workshop, temporary workshop, and, uh, and then start concentrating. Here we go on building the actual uh, trap. So I'll be back after I've made those trips back and forth to supply myself and I know Voodoo is going to be uh, he's going to be bringing over some materials as well which will help out immensely and uh, this is going to be a pretty large scale trap that'll go up high. It's going to be based on gravity 
and you'll see once it's done you'll see it's a it's a design that I I kind of meshed together from other things I've seen online so it's not something that I've seen before but I've seen other kinds of traps utilize the same type of technique uh, for other purposes and I'm gonna apply that to uh, Enderman harvesting alright guys so this will be a quick demonstration of what I have planned for the Enderman trap um, the idea is not really an original idea it's basically based on two things uh, drop traps that I've seen before like Doc M's as well as Ethos um, blaze farm uh, design where it's kind of like a funnel shape uh, so when it's done this whole trap will look like a big giant funnel and the way it'll work is there's going to be like a pressure plate that is the only spot that the enderman can spawn on and then above that let's see if I can get a little higher I'm gonna have uh, a, a sticky piston that pushes out a block so as soon as they spawn on that they will get pushed out and drop down um, Oh, I don't have any sticky pistons to demonstrate, but regardless, you, you guys will get the, the idea. Um, so the way it'll work is uh, I'm going to have a block under here. And in some cases, that block will be a half slab. There we go. Like that. Like that. And there will be a torch. I think it goes... Uh, uh, yep, yeah, there. Another block right on top of that. And then one right here. And, the, whoops, and the sticky piston will actually rest um, in this gap right here. So it'll go where I'm going to place, uh, let's, let's put this dirt. So it'll go right there like that. And then the pushing block, or the actual block that'll do the, func the, the functional push off of this, will go right there. So when uh, an Enderman spawns on that point right there, uh, that will trigger this, which triggers that, which triggers that. So it's an inversion of power, which then gives power to the actual piston, and the piston shoots out this block, pushing the three high... Whoops pushing the three high Enderman off so he will basically have no choice but to fall down and I'm gonna have like um, a bunch set up two by two at the the very ring so yeah like that oops not that one so there will be pressure plate here pressure plate here on these two on these two on these two and that'll be the first layer then after that, I'll back up one layer and make a new layer that goes up from there. And as I keep going, I keep building up so it'll look like that. And eventually it'll go out to a big, big upside down funnel. And each layer will push with a piston down to the next layer, push down to the drop into the kill zone. So that's the idea. I hope that uh, makes sense. Uh, no worries though. Once it comes together, you'll you'll see the picture. You'll you'll see the results and how it works. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm back at the uh, <clears throat> at the stronghold. Um, I set a bed here so that if I die, I'll spawn in this area. And as you can see, I've also uh, stocked up on a ton of different materials that I'm going to need for the build. I'm hoping that I'll have enough. We'll see. And then the great thing is, is guys like uh, Voodoo, Ashers, and BDA, and pretty much everyone on the servers being, you know, awesome and, and donating uh, materials. So uh, Voodoo should already be out here. He may have stepped away for a sec, but he was helping me uh, create the platform. And the idea here is I want to make something that's three wide rip the uh, half slabs in the center out and lay down uh, a track that goes all the way over to the platform uh, I think I do see him out there but I don't know if he's AFK or not hey voodoo can you hear me you can you can talk if you're in the same chat room 
I think he is AFK. Ah, oh, damn these guys. Soon, soon I will be harvesting you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it looks like he's AFK at the moment. But uh, I'm going to throw down all this stuff in here so that if I fall off the edge, I'm not going to lose all this good stuff. There we go. I'll probably make a new chest. I'll do this. Actually, I have the chests. Throw stuff in there as well. So I need the two water, that, the gold. Good. So I'm bare minimum. I'm not a, I'm not too concerned if I die and lose this stuff. Actually, I'll put the wood in as well. And we're going to finish the platform and then begin building the trap. So I'll be back once the platform is complete. See you in a bit, guys. So as you can see, guys, <coughs> uh, Voodoo's uh, busily working away at putting the platform together. And uh, I'm working on making the uh, the rail, uh, I guess, trail, you could call it, uh, that will be coming over from the island down in that direction over there to here. Uh, making it three wide, and I'm trying to uh, put half slabs as I go so I don't get these guys spawning on here. Whee! I gotta be careful because I looked at one already. There we go. Yeah, that's an awful sound they make. God. Anyways, we're gonna finish this up and then we'll start building the trap. Man, a lot next to you, right? Yeah, I know. I know. There's a lot next to me. <laughs> I'm having trouble placing slabs. Oh. Oh, wow. So imagine the efficiency of this thing once it's done, eh? Oh, yes. And the more layers we add to it, the better it's going to be. I was talking to Awesome, and uh, he's like, yeah, man, add all ten layers, because that's what I wanted to add. Or was it you? Yeah. Um, no, it might have been Awesome. Yeah, I did look at it, and uh, I tried to add a couple of more layers, and this would be in creative mode, and... A bit of a lengthy process adding all the repeaters and Yeah, and, it is. Yeah. But after one layer, I actually just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful. Uh, it was... Oh, that noise and the noise following it. Yeah, I know, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, guys, so the rail is completely set up. Voodoo and I spent some time... Oh, here he comes. Oh, uh, yeah, there he is. Hey, Voodoo, say hi to the YouTubes. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, so Voodoo and I spent some time throwing together the rail. Uh, so now there's a rail system that goes from this platform all the way back to the main area and back. And now we're going to try and start building the trap. So I'm going to throw in this water, let it go down a little bit, and use that to basically go down and uh, create a platform underneath where I can put in the redstone wiring. Hopefully, I don't die. Here goes. Wish me luck, bud. Good luck, man. Good luck, James Bonds. <laughs> Um, I was drowning. <laughs> okay, so far so good. What do you need? Um, give me a sec. Let me uh, make the platform so I feel a little more secure. <laughs> Okay, I should take the water away. There we go. Alrighty, so now, yeah, you, you can come down. We can make like a little uh, staircase to go up. Or actually, hold on. Oh, 
That should be good to go up and down, right? Right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next step is trying to figure out how to get the sticky pistons in. Oh, yeah. I got to get a bunch of sticky pistons over, and I got a ton of slime now. I actually brought a c about half a stack over. Uh, how many do you need? Four. Um, for now, yeah, just four. But I gotta remember how to position them, so give me one sec. Yeah. So they're gonna go right underneath that. Oh, and guys, by the way, if you're wondering, um, I actually have a jack-o'-lantern on my head, so I can look at the uh, the Enderman, but I think this is one of the things in the, um, here, I'll take it off. See the difference? I think it's one of the things in this uh, texture pack. See, look at that. It's awesome. I can actually see stuff with this. One, oh, damn it. Who almost lost it. One two three four perfect okay so on top of these sticky pistons we're gonna throw in the wood uh, which I don't have on me so we'll do that after and then uh, from here up we're gonna build basically a glass tube so we're gonna work on that start getting quite hairy. yeah I know cuz then we're gonna be working way up there yeah alrighty be back in a sec, guys. Just give me a sec to set up the actual uh, wiring. Okay, how was this? Hey, actually, try hitting the switch now. Nothing happens, right? Nope, nothing. Okay, I got power. I gotta remember how I wired this. If I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna remind myself how. No worries. Jump down the hole for riches and glory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Oh, I think I did it the other way. Okay. Yes, I don't have an axe on me. <laughs> I should go. I'm going to block myself in here and here. Oh, oh no, I fell. I'm oh, dead. No. Yeah, and I lost some redstone. Oh, two stacks of glowstone, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Oh.
<laughs> yeah? What? What happened? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think one of the Endermen must have teleported us. You got tools on you? Yeah, I do. Alright. <laughs> I recorded it. <laughs> Probably for the best, just in case. <laughs> yeah, who knows? One of them might spawn right in front of you, and your character will be looking at them. So I just protected you. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, 